Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Asoa. Today I'm going to do a few unboxings, not too much. I mean, those boxes have been staying there waiting for me to open for, yeah, almost two weeks now. I just picked up the kids from school. It's a weekday, it's 6 p.m. now. I'm done with work. So what I'm gonna do is go downstairs. I mean, I just change into my robe, go downstairs and do some unboxings and then we'll be done for the day. But I just wanted to do this because, yeah, I didn't get a chance to do it over the weekend and over the holidays. So let me try that now. <laughs> I hope you're good. Yeah, so some, these are some of the boxes I'm going to unbox. I made another video for my Dyson vacuum, sneak peek. <laughs> But yeah, I may just do a, a whole video f just for the Dyson, but there are other things I got for the home. And I got this from a friend. Okay, let me do that now. is almost setting so let me quickly do this so the first item i have um, unboxing is an item from mary Kay. is just something that came in the mail it's my friend so she's she's doing mary Kay, and she's focusing on skincare anti-aging skincare i've always wanted under eye cream and anything anti-aging i mean i've been using oils and all for years so i found like an under eye cream and oil set but I got just the, the oil hopefully it's big enough the way I'm saying this um, from Mary Kay and I'll see how it goes and maybe I'll get more later the box came with all the mailing stuff so let's dig 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 into it so this is the time wise eye cream it's an age minimizer eye cream and um, hi <laughs> And this is how it looks so let's open it and see okay um it comes like this in a pink tube and let me open it okay so it comes in this little tube thingy and apparently you take it out and put it under your eye yeah so this is how it looks. Let me smell it and see if it has any fragrance. No, no fragrance, just a sweet smell, but it's, it feels really, really nice. So I'm going to try using this and it's a age minimized 3D eye cream that you can use. I'm going to be using it at night. I'm going to read the directions later. I do print is too small for me to look at I don't know what's going on with my eyes these days so yeah yeah so that's one I'm excited to try that and then the second one is a nourishing oil 100% natural origin of total um yeah it's from the naturally section of Mary Kay and it's used for normal to dry skin suitable for sensitive skin and um yeah, it's just basically a nourishing oil. So this is how the package looks. Let me open it. And this is how it looks. I like the bottle. I like it. I've always liked oils, so let's see. Let me open it and see if I like the smell. Yep, it smells nice. I like that fresh smell of oils okay oh yeah nice I like it so I think it's for the face or the body or stuff but it's an it's oil so I can put it anywhere in my body but I think it's for the face so I'm going to read the directions as well directions apply two to three drops to palm 
and then press palms together and then gently massage onto clean face. So it's for the face. Okay. Yay, I'm gonna start using this for then my nighttime routine. And I think that's all from my Mary Kay box. I am excited to use this items. Let me put this box aside. So the next items are home updates, like home stuff really. Um, stuff that I got for the home and they're all kind of similar because most of them are like rugs or things that you put your foot on. <laughs> and then, and most of them are for the kitchen actually. Yeah, everything is for the kitchen. My Dyson vacuum, I left that to unbox later. That's gonna be another video, hopefully this weekend. I just decided to do this now, just so it won't stay here for too long. So the first item is from Bed Bath & Beyond and there are two items and whoa, it's heavy. It's this and what is this? It's basically like a foot mat type thingy but supposed to be really comfortable for the feet, for every day. I know. I got the black just because I mean I I wanted to get brown but I was just thinking about like my wood floors and I didn't want to get something too light or too dark or anyways whatever so the black just basically suits it and I'm just gonna do this and leave it on the floor for you to see later I don't know, the reason why I'm unboxing these now is because I didn't want them to just be in the box for a while I needed to bring them out to kind of like straighten them so the second one is also here. Uh, yeah, this one has has a, a label. So it's called Comfy Life Anti Fatigue Comfort Mat, and it is comfort for the back and feet. It's antimicrobial, anti-slip. It's got beveled edges, and it's basically good for the kitchen. So this picture has it on the, the gas range so this i'm going to put by um the fridge and then the longer one by my sink like i said and then i got another one to put by the gas range it says do not roll do not bend please sheet flat well it wasn't flattened when i when they shipped it so i just have to keep it flat for a bit and yes it's also black because i wanted it to look cohesive and stuff and yeah so it looks like they're different one looks kind of like darker than the other the other one has kind of like a black gray type look the other item ruggable I've been wanting to use Ruggable for ages, so I decided to try one. I wanted to get one of those Jonathan Adler runners, but I got another one instead. So this is how it looks. Woof. And I like the design. You see that? It's really nice. So let me let me unwrap it. <laughs> Let's unwrap this runner and see how we can place it on the floor. Like it came with uh, a rug pad under I totally forgot about that so we have to place the pad on the floor figure out how to set it and then put the rug over it so let me see let me remove the wrap in here oh yeah it looks like the pad has Velcro. I'm not sure if you can see the Velcro. So 
this is supposed to be facing the floor and then the rug itself will collapse to the velcro that's what i'm thinking see that it's really really nice so the ruggable rugs are supposed to be like washable rugs in that you can put in a washing machine now I understand why it's so easy to wash because so all you do is just bring it out once the rug is dirty and it feels like cloth you see that it's pretty light that's why it's so easy to be able to wash in my washing machine now all I need to do is just find another person who can align each side and press it all down so it just feels like velcro all through not just the four ends but all through so that's what i wanted to show you guys so and then another thing i think the last item is here i've been looking for a toaster <laughs> for a while i wanted to get the smeg like line Smeg toaster, smeg, smeg kettle. This is part one of, of two because this is the toaster and the kettle is on the way. But I was like, yeah, with the smeg, it's pretty expensive to me though. Like, I mean, it's about 300 and something dollars depending on if you want to get a four slice toaster, or two slice toaster and all that. And then the kettle is another 200 and something dollars. So it does add up. So I got something similar to the smeg look, like the retro type look. And let me open this. So this is what I got. I got a white color. Well, let me show you how it looks. It's from Haddon. I think that's the pronunciation, Haddon. And it's kind of like similar to the Smeg type look and i love this color actually but i decided to get a, a white color but this color really cute and you know how i love like teal mint colors so this is how it looks it's really cute right and wow it's really it's really packaged well let me bring out the toaster And it's actually really light. Yes, I got a toaster. This is my toaster. <laughs> it's actually really light. So it's from Harden and it's a white toaster. The kettle, like I said, is on its way. It was back ordered. Hopefully the kettle will come soon and I'll use it in my kitchen. It's priced really well. I think it's like 70 something dollars or something. So that's why I felt it would be easier to just get this for now until I'm ready to buy like smeg and stuff like that even if I may not want to if if this is good so so let me put everything in the kitchen where things are supposed to be but yeah I'm just glad that I got this toaster it's pretty light and look at it it looks so good right I'll show you the way Oh, 
That was a workout. <laughs> my son is laughing at me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You definitely need two people to do this thing, man. Imagine if it's actually a full carpet. Like, yeah, a full rug or whatever. I mean, this is just a runner. <laughs> so basically, you just basically have to stick everything and align everything well because it gets really sticky because there's like a whole velcro game going on here but it does look nice let me show you yeah this is it what do you guys think what do you think about the style for the kitchen i mean i like the lines and everything i just like how abstract and i don't know it has that whole african look as well i'm not sure if i'm making sense and because I have a two-tone thing going on, I don't know. I just think it brings it together. I may center this, but it depends. We may need to be able to stand directly on it while cooking, or maybe center it. I actually thought it was gonna be longer than this. So apparently my kitchen is really big. So let me show you what I got. So this is, for this area and i thought it was actually going to be longer than this as well because i did it i did measure everything this is how it looks this is it's on this side and then this is the side of the fridge i know so yeah it's not bad it's just something to get used to we've never had a runner in our kitchen we've had something like this the old one the, the brown one we used to be by the sink in our old house like this one and then when we moved here, we um, put it by the fridge. But I think, I don't think I'll throw it away. I think I'll just put it here or inside the screening porch, like, and stuff like that until we get the furniture for the screening porch. But looking at this, I think it looks okay. Let's see where to put the toaster. Still trying to navigate where to put things in the kitchen here um let's see so this area is like the tea area i think i've shown you a number of times the kettle we're going to change this kettle to the harding kettle which hadn't not harding hadn't so and it's pretty cute it looks it's really it looks really nice i can't wait to see it so we're going to get that and i'm going to replace this kettle we've had this for years i think we even bought this a second time we got it as a wedding gift we liked it a lot when that got spoiled we got the same thing so yeah it served us well but i'll probably just i don't know keep it for the basement or something we'll figure it out but anyways the hadden kettle is going to come here at some point so because the kettle is going to come here and i'm still going to figure out what's going on in the tea section area we need to figure out where to put the toaster so this is where all the snacks are for now and in my mind i'm thinking should i put the toaster here the microwave is here the oven is here it looks like the toaster is going to be here but i need to clear up this area and um so in another video i'm sure i'm going to update to you guys i'll probably put a toaster there but for now let me see if i can put it somewhere else got dial buttons I definitely have to look at the instructions at some point I'm just doing an unboxing right now so basically it's supposed to be that easy I mean there's a, a section for defrosting bagels and canceling and then this dial screen here has or this dial knob here is from one to one two three four five I think six and then all you do is just do this do this and you see that the blue light is on once you do that and then if you cancel you do that and depending on what's your dial here i'm not sure if you see that depending on what's your dial here and here if you do this do this you see that if you want bagels bagels you want to defrost defrost cancel cancel pretty simple <laughs> 
actually it's actually hot like i actually feel it hot so i'm gonna dis um, disconnect it from the socket and try it tomorrow yay thank you guys so i'm just gonna eat and um take out all the boxes it's actually trash day tomorrow morning so i'm gonna take out the recycle and trash boxes and um yeah and i will talk to you later in my next video please don't forget to subscribe like this video comment and share if you have any questions yeah ask me i will try as usual to put links in the description below for all the things that i've bought here take care and remember always remember to let your cup run it over bye <laughs>